Well, it kind of looks like it was yesterday decided to stay around for today because we hit 93 for our highs. Actually, a little bit on the warmer side for our overnight lows, 67, 10 degrees above our average. And we're going to be watching, of course, it staying warm as we go into the rest of tonight. A few clouds out there. Taking a look at downtown, we're seeing a few low levels, some high level clouds. Hint, hint, this is going to be a pretty nice sunset view if you guys want to get out and watch before any games, before you go out, or take some pictures and send us uh, some here at KLST. But either way, it's still warm. 90s right now, and it's also windy. We're still seeing 10 to 15 miles per hour from the south. Upper 80s for the few that are slowly cooling off a little faster, like Brady, Eden, and Menard. 87 out towards Big Lake. So, it's going to cool off, don't worry, but right now the thing is, is those winds. We're seeing 17 miles per hour towards Crockett County, 15 towards Reagan, and of course 10 to 15 miles per hour has been the consistency for today. Gusts got a little bit stronger than that. We see it slowly die down, 5 to 10 in the beginning of our day tomorrow, along with low 60, 63. But then the wind just picks back up and we warm back up. 93 again, 10 to 15 miles per hour, and that is not even going to be our strongest windy day. We have Sunday where we're going to see even stronger winds that are going to be coming through before the first of two cold fronts. So Saturday, yes, on the breezy side of 10 to 15 miles per hour, a few gusts out there. But as we go into Sunday and Sunday night, we see that front definitely coming through. It's a weak front. We're not seeing a big cool down, but we see a wind shift and the winds die down. So they're going to be about 15 to 20 miles per hour on Sunday, and we're going to be watching it cool off for Monday for us because as opposed to low 90s, we'll be in the upper 80s. So a little bit of a cool down because you can see that low pressure isn't very strong, not pulling a lot of cool air down. But the one coming in on Wednesday after our brief warm up on Tuesday in the low 90s is a little bit stronger. We're going to be seeing some cool temperatures already starting to enter by Wednesday morning. We're going to see some rain chances with that as well. And it's going to be in the mid 80s, getting us back to average temperatures. So that's what we're going to watch for the rest of this week. But we do have a very warm and windy upcoming weekend. Again, 93, 93 Sunday. And then we see Tuesday, there's that brief warm up. There's that cool down. You really can see it in our overnight lows of 55. And then Wednesday, we watch some rain chances. We watch a cool down, mid 80s, overnight lows, mid 50s. Definitely going to feel more like October, the middle of next week. But it's going to feel a little bit like a windy summer day out 